Hello and welcome to episode 52 of our Forest Challenge. We're late starting, it's gone midday. That is because it's bucketed down all morning. Um, so we've lost the morning. All I've been doing in that time is there's an area over that hill there where we've been clearing. So that's literally all I've been doing on the morning. Um, let's get this started. Today's episode is all about starting the car for a start. Um, is all about trying to make a good wedge of money because we've dipped a bit and when it comes to um, harvesting that sugar cane we're going to need what is it like 450 grand or something like that however much the sugar cane harvester is and what else ever else I need to buy for it as well um, so yeah we're not going to be doing probably that much actual farming today um, we're just going to be selling off a load of our product and we're going to start with not actually selling anything we're going to start by moving the wood chips from here the reason why we're going to do this is um, 262 grand we're going to make so much money in January um, the reason we're going to do this is because when I start shifting these which is what we're going to do very shortly um, it'll spawn wood chips and it'll just take longer so if we can empty this straight off and that'll prevent it from doing so. Something that we, we haven't done previously. Um, and it's just, it's added so much time onto the process because I didn't realise we could do it this way. So I mean, there's going to be, there's going to be tons of this. There's going to be a few jumps. Um, probably no time lapses in this video. But there's going to be a few jumps because the stuff we're going to do because of the amount of money we're going to be making and the amount of stuff we're going to be selling there's going to be quite a lot of repetitive sort of processes um, this being one of them so we had 240 odd grams worth or 1000 litres worth of um, wood chips we're going to there's 49,000 litres worth so there's what another 5 trailers uh, sorry another 4 trailers worth of it so we're going to carry on doing that and I'll be back when the silo's empty. Right, last 25,000 litres. And then that's us done. I knew it would take a while, that's why we've jumped. Um, like I said, we're going to be doing that a few times throughout this episode. Right, let's get this tipped and then we'll see how many we've got. Or how much we've got, sorry. And then we can start actually making making the money. I mean, there's a, a ridiculous amount of money. I don't know how many um, pallets worth, but there is a ridiculous amount of money in this one opposite. Uh, this factory to the left. Right, turn that off. So, 380,000 litres of wood chips. Once they go in, we'll have we'll end up over four hundred thousand liters, like probably well over. We get eleven hundred dollars per thousand liters, so that shows you how much money we're going to be making from them. Um, and that's in January as well. January is always the higher price for that. So, I think we've stopped producing some of these. I oh, know we're very close to stopping producing these. I think um, I put when we were off. Uh, when was it? This morning, I put. Two um, two pallets worth in here, just so it would produce again. So we're gonna have to get rid of some of them. Right, uh, let's get that. And we'll start getting these moved. So like I said, the reason we moved all them wood chips is so that pallets of wood chips weren't building up here. If there's still some wood left in the... Oh my god. If there's still some wood left in the factory, we might get a couple of pallets worth. But um, we shouldn't get too many. Right, there's 9,000 litres worth. Let's see... Do I say 9 or 7? Right, 
if you look at that, planks, 715,000 litres. That is utterly ridiculous. Let's see where we're going. Um, yeah, it's the old cell point. It nearly always is. If we can get the majority of these shifted, you know, the money's going to be utterly unreal. We've got product to sell from, um, from the soup factory as well. Which is already loaded up, actually. Right, 20,000, nearly... Nearly 20,500. Per trailer full, that is... I mean, it's going to take a long time. It's going to take a really long time, actually. The fields that you can see that are ready to harvest, we'll be doing that in um, in the next episode. We will be using the second second part of uh, July this time. I could do. I wonder if there's a. Um, A different auto loader that allows us to get more in. Right, get that closed. I could do it with like a truck, couldn't I? Not a van like this, like an actual lorry. That'll be another 20 grand. Okay. Right, I'm going to crack on with this. It's going to take a while. I don't think I'm going to get through them all. In fact, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to get through them all. Um, and let's see how, how many's in this one as well. Thanks, 15. So not as many in that one. And them over there on the right hand side, just they all or sell anywhere. I wonder if I set them to auto sell now, all the ones that's in here. I wonder if they'll just go on the next hour. Because we might lose some, as in... We might lose some some money from it. Because it might not sell at the absolute peak price, but considering we've got 700,000 litres worth of them... Let's speed... In fact, tell you what we'll do. Let's not speed it up. While we're waiting for that happen let's go over and sell some other product off what I'm hoping will happen now I've set that to sell them for those that aren't aware I'm hoping that on the hour at two o'clock those 700,000 litres of planks that are still stored will sell and all we'll have to do is move the um, move the planks that's already been spawned. That is what I'm hoping will happen. Right, as you can see, we've loaded up all our soup, which is quite a bit. Preserved food is still going. Like, we haven't moved any of that yet. We'll have to do that at different... Well, maybe in this video, but on a different um, trailer full. So this is going to be really heavy. The fact that the trailer was already moving about on its own is 
going to suggest that. I think there's I think there's only one place to sell this. No, no, there's two. And it's the all sell point again. Oh, triple suit smart at the selling station. Um, red beet soup. Yeah. I think three out of the five sold better at the all sell point, so we'll go to that one. I need to be careful with this, though. This is like so, you, you can see it leaning over. We'll do well out of it though. I mean, each each pallet's got two thousand liters in, I think. And you can see just in the uh, in the corner there, twenty-two thousand liters of parsnip, carrot, and red beet. Twenty thousand liters of um, potatoes soup, and eighteen thousand liters of triple. Oh, don't go, don't go, don't go, no! <laughs> Talk about being careful. Right. Give us two seconds, we'll get this sorted. Right, with the help of the forklift, we're away again. It actually lifted it a lot easier than I expected. Um, I, I mean, in FS22, you can... You can upright machinery, as in tractors and stuff, a lot easier, can you? That was one of the, um, the big things to change. Am I even going to get past there? John, I might just... I'm just going to take it to this one. I know three of them were higher at the other one, but I'm really worried that if I try to take it down that path and go around that bit where the silo is, it's really steep, isn't it? We, we've likened it to a sort of a NASCAR circuit before, so I think we're going to struggle. Let's get the money and sold. I mean, that's already looking good. Pop them two. Come on, game. Right, 200 grand. 200 grand from that. That is outrageous. And then we've still got our lot preserved food as well. That, I don't think we'll do now. We might load it up towards the back end of the video. Um, cutting bits of crop off there. Yeah, we might load it towards the back end of the video, but we'll not do it now. We'll go back over get the uh, get the van and then start selling some more product off I'm pretty sure the van can't take the preserved food and the soup we checked with the oil didn't we and it couldn't it didn't recognize that I mean we could check now in fact I will check now to one side. I don't know if we'll need the John Deere again this episode. Right, so a couple of minutes until we find out if all them planks are going to sell. Right, see if we can get these in here. No, it doesn't recognise that. I didn't think it would. Right, so 417,000 What are we going to? <laughs> oh my god. 1.6 million. That is what we've just earned from them planks. 1.6 million. That is crazy money. I do need to take them off selling actually because we need them planks to um to run this here. 
which we should have enough in. Miss Material Pallets. Or do we put it in somewhere else? I wonder if it's just the beams in there. Yeah, so we're gonna have to. <laughs> that is so ridiculous. I'll just take this off first. Um. Right. Storing. Get that open. Might as well get these cleared. I'll do the wood chips off camera. I'll um that'll just need the bobcat. It's just slower, that's all. Because you can only get one pallet at a time. It would be different if we had, I suppose, the fork trick, um, the forklift is close, isn't it? But you can take a couple with the forklift. Where the bobcat, obviously, we know is not the best. It's just the weight, isn't it? That's all it is. The the weight at the back is uh, isn't great. Coming down slightly, isn't it? The price. I wonder what price it even sells at. Does it? Um, I can't imagine it goes off the highest, but what it might do? I wonder if it sort of calculates three and then gives you an average, or whether you get an average for what you'd have got over the year. Or not sure. I wonder if them planks as well, the ones that are over um, where the combine is, if they're the same as these, then we'll be able to get rid of some of them today as well. And if they are the same as these, then what I could do is just sell, um, set that factory to sell all the time. Then we won't have the build up, we'll just have the constant drip feed. this to one side same with the combine which is absolutely desperate for fuel like I said we won't actually be using this in this episode it, um, second part of July that'll be right are these just normal plants we'll find out Yes. I might do that then. That factory that we've just sold a load from, I might just put on to sell. So it'll just drip feed us every hour. I think that might be a decent, um, a decent idea. I did say we were going to make some decent cash tonight in this episode. Right, so I'm going to carry on moving them and then we're going to move on to that one just directly behind us and I shall come back um, right towards the end of it. I, I don't see the point in coming back in um, any time prior to that. And then what we might do, we might start loading up the preserved food. So, two secs. I've come back on a little bit early because it turns out this van recognised prefab walls, which I found that out by absolute mistake because I was doing it. I've been moving a couple of loads of these, 
Um, because it's easy where I start, well, I do it all the time, I run out of space. The only thing that these feed is that factory there, and it doesn't take overly much, to be fair. It doesn't produce that much either, the factory, it's like, um, we don't make a great deal out of it. But, I backed up to it, and it just instantly recognised the prefabs. Uh, so I wasn't, I didn't know you could do that. I thought the only way to sell the prefabs was to actually load them up and bring them down. So that's 5,000 litres of that. Another $45,000. Oh my god. I'll tell you what, we'll do one more load of the um, long planks. And then we'll go and load up the preserved food, I think. And then... That might be it for the day. I'll show you the area where we've been cutting down because there's going to be either, well it probably will be a sugar cane field that's going to go in there I would imagine um, there you go it annoys us when it takes half, half of each pallet but there's nothing we can do about it I'll move them and I'll put them into that factory there Right, last load of this. Nearly at 2.3 million. Um, we need the forklift, that's already... It's already halfway around here, isn't it? Park this up out the way. Tell you what we'll do before. In fact, we might as well use this. Let's have a look around here. So you'll see we've tidied the edges up around here. Um, I don't know if I showed you that or not. We've done that. I think it was even before the last episode. Um, but this is the area we've been working in. Uh, can I jump up? Yep. This probably is all going to be sort of one decent size field. Um, I've still got loads of clearing. You can see we've probably done about a third of it. It just takes so long to do, that's all. Uh, It's so labour intensive. Come on. There we go. Right. Let's get back to the forklift. We'll get the preserved food loaded up. And like I said, I think that's going to be the video. park this up this time and leave it there. I'll tidy that up off camera. It was such a good buy this forklift, you know. To get it in used machinery as well. Couple times out a bit. It's probably more than paid for itself already, isn't it, this factory? I didn't realise how much money we were going to make from it. I'm sure we made over 100 grand the first time we sold the product of it as well. And I think we've reached the point where we're pretty much able to keep it topped up as well, aren't we? I don't think, as far as root crop, other than sugar beet, which obviously isn't feeding these factories, um, I don't think we need to be 
getting any more roof crop fields. It's a bit awkward this uh, loading and unloading these. Just because of where this bank is, I can't remember how I done it last time. Or what worked best last time. Because what I do with the soup is, I get them like this, there, and I find that's the easiest way to get them on the trailer. Now I won't have to be as neat as I was with the, the soup because there's not going to be the same amount to go on. Right, how um, much? It's all very good, isn't it? There you go. Um, 11,812. So, I'll crack on stacking these. It probably won't take us that long actually because there's not loads to get through. And we'll be back probably with the, the last lot. We'll go and sell that. And then call time, I think. So, I shall not be long. The last three pallets. My task took a little bit longer to be honest than what I thought I would. What went 20 past? So, an in, uh, now uh, an in-game hour, is that what stuck us? There just seem to be a lot more spawning than what I thought there would. There's obviously plenty of weight on this trailer as well because it's moving already. You'll probably see it move again as we get closer to it. Yeah, it's moving now. I was going to say, I haven't had one fall off the whole time. I haven't had one go off, um, not going straight either, so that's typical, isn't it? I'll tell you what, let's pull that round. And then that'll give us, if it stops moving, that'll give us an easier angle to get this last one on. So not as many as the, um, the soup. Come on. I get an angle and then the trailer just moves back. There we go. Get that closed off. Right, is that going to fall off? I wouldn't be surprised if it does. So we've got 16,000 litres of parsnip, um, 16,000 litres of carrot, and 18,000 litres of red beet. In fact, let's um, probably go anywhere. Let's have a look, see where the best price is. Preserve food. So, ah, strangely, all three are at the um, the selling station as opposed to the all sell point don't go don't go it started tipping again I mean you can see we're all loaded on one side the reason for that and it's just out of habit when I've been loading this trailer up is what I'll do is the way you've seen us do it, where we pick two up at the front, I'll do that all the way down. And then what, what I'd then normally do, or with the soup, what I normally do is put another layer on top of that. 
and then that leaves that other side and all I do then is is I'll stack them on top of each other and um, so we'll we'll still take two at a time but I'll stack them on top of each other and then put them on sort of in individual rows if you know what I mean so then we've got a couple of layers of three rather than how we've got it at the minute which I know isn't great for weight right there we go straight run down to the cell point so I mean this isn't going to be as dramatic as what the soup was but still going to make us some decent money okay 70 grand happy with that so it leaves us with 2.3 million dollars which is crazy considering we started with 175 grand so nearly 2.2 million we've made in how long five hours five and a half hours in game hours as well times five speed that is crazy there's still pl there's still stuff we could sell off as well there's furniture over there there's still more beams and planks up the top um if the price for wood chips was good which it probably isn't uh if i can find wood chips there they are yeah which it's like it's absolute at its absolute worst if they were good then there's another 400 grand there as well but we'll do that in january but for now thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again in the next one.